Thank you, Mr. Lieutenant Governor. I also rise to give my no vote explanation. Yesterday, I read a story in the free press that knocked me completely on my... A 33-year-old woman who was eight months pregnant got sick with COVID-19. She was induced and gave birth to a healthy baby boy last week, and she never got to hold him. Her brother said she had a normal labor. She gave birth to her son, but didn't get to hold him because right after she gave birth, that's when they put in the tube, and from there she started declining. 33 years old with no underlying health conditions. I am 34 years old and just shy of eight months pregnant. I read this story and I went home and I told my husband about it and he said he had also read it and was afraid to send it to me. I don't wanna be a broken record here, but Half of this legislature is currently not here, shut down from doing its work, because this legislature has failed to even get its own house in order. We have double the rate of positive cases of COVID-19 in this legislature than the rest of the state. And I introduced a resolution 230 days ago to allow a contingency plan for the legislature to meet remotely to continue its work. 230 days. But this bill and this legislature has the gall to ask and demand in statute that public health experts come to this legislature, which hasn't done anything in 230 days, after only 28 days, to ask for permission to do their duty to protect public health. We are seeing now that the efforts that MDHHS has made over the past few weeks are working. Case rates are coming back down. And again, I stand up here and repeat that it is our duty to listen to public health experts and do what we need to do to ensure that people are not forced to choose between their life and their livelihood. It is our duty to step up and make sure people can afford to do the things that public health experts are saying that we need to do just for the next few months to get through until there are widely available vaccines because help is on the way. I've really struggled with this story for the past few days. We keep hearing that this is something we just need to accept, that it is what it is, that Mother Nature wins. And I don't know about everybody else in this room, but I refuse to accept that. I refuse to accept that it's okay for a 33-year-old healthy woman on the verge of delivering a child to die unnecessarily. And I urge a no vote on this bill. And I'd like my remarks printed in the journal.